Hi, my name is David Emerson. I'm a long-term myeloma survivor, myeloma cancer coach, and director of People Beating Cancer. Welcome to the vlog post specifically, specifically regarding a multiple myeloma um, stem cell transplant for myeloma and the risk, the lifetime risk, increased risk of skin cancers from basal cell, uh, squamous cell, non-melanoma skin cancers to full melanoma. Uh, bottom line, that much toxicity, that uh, high dose aggressive chemo does increase the risk of skin cancer. It's well established, nothing that your oncologist will not know about will deny. The challenge is, is that the risk increases over time. It's fairly low in the first few years, but over time it gets worse. In my experience, I take a number of supplements, nutritional supplements shown to reduce the risk of skin cancer. They're listed below. Um, I also think that our we should pay attention to our skin. Just last week, I went to the dermatologist, had um, three different suspicious moles removed and biopsied. Don't worry, I'm okay. But it's a, it's a regular thing to keep an eye on uh, moles, especially as we age. We have little things on our skin that we should pay attention to. All to say, that person who has undergone a stem cell transplant previously has to be ever vigilant about any um, marking, any suspicious mole on their skin. Also, evidence-based but non-toxic therapies, nutrition, supplementation, lifestyle therapies to reduce our risk of melanoma. I do it. I recommend you do it. If you have questions, scroll down the page, send me a question or a comment, I'll reply to you ASAP. Thank you for your time and attention.